Thomas, can you explain the interrelationship between the origin, the boundary conditions, the initial conditions, and the evolution via the dynamical equations that govern space-time? And then thirdly, the observership and the role of conscious observers. How do these three elements, observers, origin, and evolution, interact with each other in the Hertog-Hawking model? Yeah, well, that's a bit the crux of our model. In most of physics, we think of the laws of physics as dynamical laws, laws that take you from A to B. But in cosmology, when you, we think about the universe as a whole, Stephen and I have claimed that we need to generalize our laws of physics, that we need to generalize the notion of laws of physics. It's not just about dynamics, it's also about the ultimate origin, the Big Bang. And it's not just about the universe, it's also about us, because we're within the universe looking up and looking out. So we claim that the last great unification that is needed to truly grasp our universe is to bring together laws of dynamics, laws of evolution, with initial conditions, boundary conditions, the origin and observership into one holistic, more general notion of physics and cosmology.